to our channel Science of Life and this is Preeti, your science mentor. Students, today we are going to study about the friction and types of friction as well as its advantages and disadvantages. So before discussing about the definition of friction, I will show you one example. By that only you will understand the definition of friction. So look here. Here you can see one ball is rolling on the ground and after some time it stops. Can you tell me why it stops? Yes, actually here two surfaces are rubbing against each other and that creates the friction in opposite direction. So yes, here it comes with the definition of friction. Actually, friction is a force that has been developed when the two surfaces rub against each other and due to the roughness of that surface, friction is created in opposite direction. See here, actually the ball is rolling on the ground and the ground is rough and it is applying the friction in the opposite direction of the ball. So the ball stops because of the friction applied by the ground here. Now the question arises, what causes friction? Actually friction is caused by the roughness and irregularities of the surfaces. In the picture also you can see the object is kept on the surface and the roughness of that surface is applying the friction in opposite direction. So indirectly we can say that the rough surfaces applies more friction and the smooth surface reduces the friction. So Friction is caused due to the roughness and irregularities. Now coming to the types of friction. So let's come to the first type that is the sliding friction. The name itself tells that whenever any object slides over the surface, it is called as sliding friction. Look at the screen. Here ice skating is done. When you do the ice skating on the snow, then the snow applies the friction in opposite direction that is the sliding friction. Let's take one more example. When you enjoy the slides of the water park or your garden, parks, then at that time also you people are sliding on the slide and, and that is the sliding friction. Now coming to the second type of friction that is the rolling friction. Now how this friction occurs? Whenever any object rolls over the surface and then the friction offered is the rolling friction. For example, a ball rolling on the ground. When you people ride the bicycle, then the wheels are rolling and they are in contact with the ground. So the ground applies the rolling friction over that. Now one more thing I would like to tell you about the rolling friction and the sliding friction. Actually, when we compare these two, sliding friction is more as compared to the rolling friction. As I have explained you earlier that friction is developed when the two surfaces rub against each other. So here you can see in the sliding friction more surface is in contact with the ground as compared to the ball or the wheel which uh, develops the rolling friction less surface is in contact with the ground. So due to that less friction is being applied so the rolling friction is less as compared to the sliding friction. For example your shoes and your roller skates. So your shoes have more friction on the ground as compared to the roller skates. So in that way sliding friction is more as compared to the rolling friction. Now coming to the third category that is the fluid friction. Yes, whenever any object moves through the liquid or air then the friction is called as fluid friction. Friction. For example, when you people are swimming, at that time the water offers the friction to your body. That is the fluid friction. When the birds fly in the air or aeroplane, at that time air applies the friction. That is the fluid friction. Now, nature of the fluid friction actually depends on the three things. The first of all is thickness of the liquid. See, when the thickness of the liquid increases, then friction also increases. For example, uh, if we compare the gel and the water, so which one is thicker? Obviously gel is more thicker than the water. So the gel will apply more friction as compared to the water. But when we compare the water with the air, so which one is more denser? Obviously water is more denser than the air. 
so the water will apply more friction as compared to the air so it depends on the density and the thickness of the liquid and according to that friction increases and decreases now coming to the second thing in the fluid friction that is the speed of the object when the speed of the object increases the fluid friction also increases and the third thing in the fluid friction is that shape of the object streamlined shape of the object reduces the fluid friction and we all know that fishes birds have the streamlined body so while swimming and while flying birds and fishes experience less friction as compared to our body because they have the streamlined body because of that reason only shape of the aeroplanes are also designed in that manner only that is the streamlined shape so that the air will exert less friction on the aeroplane and it will fly smoothly so nature of the fluid friction depends on the thickness speed as well as the shape now coming to the advantages of friction what are the advantage of friction why this force is useful for us or is it useful or not so yes friction is very very useful for us and the first the most important advantage is that it help us in walking without friction you people will not be able to walk smoothly on the ground now you will think that friction offers the resistance in motion then how it could help us see i will explain you for example accidentally you come in contact with the banana peel then what will happen you will fell down on the ground or if you accidentally come in contact with the oil or water on the ground then also you will slip down reason is that because banana peel and oil reduces the friction so friction is needed for the walking if ground will not applies friction your or opposite force on your body then you people will go on walking and slipping and sliding continuously you won't stop and you won't be able to manage or balance your body so friction is very really helpful in proper balanced walk the second important use of the friction is that when you write with pencil or pen on copy paper or when your teacher write on the board with the help of chalk or marker at that time also friction is useful because at that time the two bodies are in contact with each other and the surface applies the friction and because of that you are able to write smoothly otherwise for example if you are trying to write on a very very smooth surface will you be able to write on that no you won't be able to write on that so we need friction for writing also now the third use of friction is that we are able to light the matchstick with the help of friction only because in that case the two surfaces are rubbing against each other and due to the roughness of that matchstick light up so friction is very useful in lots of cases friction is useful for proper walking proper balancing of your body for proper dancing now we all know that in this universe when something has advantage then it has disadvantage also yes the friction also has the disadvantages for example when we talk about the machines in the machine parts when the more friction is there then the machine parts get damaged and it slows down its working or due to the friction in the cars the wheels get damaged by the roads so when you are going for a long drive or your car is been travel for long distance so better you stop the car because heat is being produced in your tires so it is quite dangerous also now when the problems are there then the solutions are always there so how to overcome these disadvantages actually i told you earlier also that rough surfaces applies more friction but smooth surfaces always reduces the friction so wherever we do not need more friction we can make that surface smooth to reduce that friction and how we can do that first one when we talk about the machines actually ball bearings are fitted in the machines to reduce the friction and to work the machines properly or in machines we can apply oil or grease that act as lubricant and machine smoothly works because it reduces the friction uh, let's take one more example while playing the carrom you need to reduce the friction when you hit the striker so what we do we can spray the talcum powder over it to reduce the friction and then you can play smoothly and now you can see on the screen that one person is struggling to lift the heavy suitcase yes 
so adding the wheels in the suitcase can help to reduce the friction as i told you earlier also sliding friction is more than the rolling friction so wherever you want to reduce the friction you can apply the wheels so that it converts into rolling friction and it reduces and you can see that smoothly this person is carrying on his heavy suitcase so wheels also reduces the friction so by applying the oil grease powder paints we can reduce the friction wherever we want to or we can add wheels also so there are ways to reduce the friction also so friction is useful for us also and where it is not useful we have the solution for that so my dear students i hope that you understood the friction its advantages its disadvantages and as well as how to reduce the friction so still if you are having any doubt then you can ask me in the comment box till then keep learning